The reality when a narcissist realizes the magnitude of losing you. Greetings everyone and welcome back to our channel. Here, we delve deep into the intricate dynamics of narcissistic personality disorder, striving to shed light on its complexities and offer pathways to healing. If you resonate with our mission and wish to embark on this journey with us, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. By doing so, you'll stay updated with our latest uploads, as we aim to provide you with insightful content regularly. Today, I want to address a question that many of us grapple with during our recovery journey. Does the narcissist truly grasp the gravity of losing us when they exit our lives, or when we find the courage to break free from their grip? It's a question that holds profound significance for our healing process, and exploring it can provide valuable insights into our experiences. So, let's dive into this topic together and uncover the nuances of the narcissist's realization of the impact of their departure. It's time to gain a deeper understanding of our experiences and empower ourselves on the path to healing. When a narcissist decides to leave you, they're convinced it's the right move for them, even though it might seem completely wrong to you. It's crucial for you to recognize your own value throughout this tough time. Be honest with yourself about how much you put into the relationship. You're a person capable of so much love, flaws, and all. Despite any imperfections, you did your best to make things work with the narcissist. Maybe you provided a home, financial support, cared for their kids, or even had children together. Perhaps you even got married, showing your deep commitment. But despite all your efforts, the narcissist walked away from a potentially great relationship and from an amazing person like you. It's tough for kind-hearted people like yourself to understand why someone would leave a relationship that seemed good for them. It feels like a waste, and it can hurt a lot, especially if you were fully invested in making things work. When the relationship ends, the narcissist is convinced they're doing the right thing by leaving. They think they're moving on to something better. But more often than not, they eventually realize they lost something valuable in you. However, their realization might not look like what you expect, because their mindset is different from yours due to their personality disorder. Let's try to understand things from the narcissist's point of view. When they decide to leave, they see things in black and white. They believe the relationship has run its course, and they've gotten everything they can from you. They don't see you the same way you see yourself. Instead, they blame you for the relationship ending, thinking you've let them down. They view you as worthless once they've used you up. It's a harsh perspective, but it's how narcissists think. They believe they're making the right choice moving on to someone they see as better than you. While a narcissist is busy getting comfortable in their new relationship, they hardly ever think about you. The only time you might cross their mind is if you somehow pop back into their life. Maybe you try to warn their new partner, seek closure by reaching out to the narcissist, or return their stuff. Or if someone else brings you up in conversation. They're totally focused on their new partner. Narcissists live in the moment and don't think much about the past. They don't cherish the good times you shared or appreciate the love and care you gave them. Right now, all they care about is their current life and the person they're with. But let's not forget, you were an amazing partner to them. The fact that you're here, searching for answers, trying to make sense of what happened, shows that you're one of the good ones. If you were a narcissist, you wouldn't be bothered about this stuff. They might watch videos about narcissism on YouTube, but not to learn or grow, they are just focused on themselves. Narcissists are so sure they're always right that they rarely seek answers or help, especially not on YouTube. They're just interested in moving forward and getting what they want. They see you as part of their past and have moved on to their new relationship, leaving you behind. But remember, their leaving doesn't reflect your worth or who you are. It's not about you being inadequate, it's about their messed up way of seeing things. They see people as objects to use, not as individuals with feelings and worth. They were lucky to have you, even if they couldn't see it. When narcissists are with someone genuinely good, they feel great. This often makes them rush into the next relationship without thinking. Sometimes they even go back to an ex while looking for someone new. Or they might have been lining up their next partner while still with you. This behavior, called monkey branching, happens because they feel so good about themselves. They think they're invincible, but they often make mistakes in their rush. If you hear about them bouncing between old and new partners later on, it's because finding someone as great as you isn't easy. 
They might find someone else willing to put up with them, but it's rare for them to find someone who truly loves them like you did. Despite what they said when they left, the truth is they know your worth. When they find someone like you, who meets their needs perfectly, they feel like they've won the jackpot. They leave the relationship feeling confident because they had someone like you, but finding someone just as amazing is tough for them. If a narcissist doesn't quickly leave their new partner, it usually means they're after something specific. Once they get what they want, they're likely to move on. And guess who they often turn to when they decide to leave? Yep, it's usually you. No matter how much time has passed, they tend to come back unless you've made it clear they're not welcome. So, do narcissists truly realize what they've lost in you? Yes, they do, especially when things start going downhill for them. Their overconfidence and high expectations, which you help set, often lead to their downfall. When they start struggling, their friends and family might point out how content they seemed with you, making them rethink their choices. They might start seeing you in a positive light again, but it's not necessarily because of you as a person, but because of the comfort and stability they had with you. They might think, I was happy back then. Maybe I made a mistake. Classic narcissistic thinking, right? Their ego prevents them from admitting they were wrong to leave you. However, if they realize their new situation isn't better, maybe even worse, they might reconsider their decision and try to reconnect with you. But if you've made it clear you're not interested in reconnecting, that's another story. But the main point here is whether narcissists realize what they've lost in you, and the answer is yes. They know deep down they lost someone with integrity, someone who loved them unconditionally, supported them, and cared for them. But their ego won't let them admit it. So don't seek validation from their attempts to come back. You don't need validation from someone with negative energy. You know your worth, and that's all that matters. Narcissists often come back to good supplies, but they always end up ruining the relationships. It's a sad pattern, but it's their loss in the end. Understanding the dynamics of narcissistic personality disorder is essential to realizing the futility of rekindling connections with individuals who lack empathy and exploit others for their own gain. Once you grasp this reality, you can liberate yourself from the emotional confinement imposed by narcissists. Education about NPD is empowering, as it enables individuals to prioritize their well-being and cease investing time and energy into relationships that are inherently damaging. I trust this discussion has provided valuable insights. Always remember your inherent worth. You don't need validation from a narcissist. We'll delve deeper into this topic soon. In the meantime, prioritize self-care. Before I conclude, if you found this information beneficial, please show your support by liking, commenting, and sharing this video with others who may find it helpful. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about future content. Additionally, consider exploring the free book and scheduling a one-on-one -on -one consultation linked in the description below. Your engagement and support are invaluable in our mission to raise awareness about narcissistic abuse. Thank you for your time and take care of yourself.